from land to hand, investigating food miles. So what is a food mile? A food mile is a term which refers to the distance food is transported from the time of its production until it reaches the customer. Food miles are calculated by adding up the distance food travels to get to the shops from the producer and the distance it is for the customer to purchase the product. To transport food, planes, ships, trains, lorries and cars are required. All of these types of transport release emissions that cause pollution and contribute to global warming. The greater the food miles and distance travelled will mean more emissions and therefore will have a larger impact on the environment. So why do we import so much food? We like a wide variety of food all year round. We live in a country where the climate is not suitable for producing certain foods. We're a small island with a large population. It'd be very difficult for us to produce the amount of food required to feed everybody. We are conscious of health benefits of certain foods. For example, we're encouraged to eat five a day and have a colourful plate. I decided to investigate food miles further by finding out where certain foods had come from. My travelling fruit salad. Not long ago in food tech, we were asked to bring in some ingredients to make a fruit salad. It consisted of a kiwi fruit, banana, apple, green grapes, red grapes and a satsuma. I wanted to investigate how far each of the fruits had travelled to make the fruit salad. First the kiwi fruit. This came from New Zealand and travelled a total 11,690 miles. Next were the bananas. These came from the Dominican Republic to the UK, making their journey 4,362 miles. Now the apple. This came from South Africa and travelled 5,608 miles. We'll be finding out more about the apple's journey later on. To make its journey to the UK, the green seedless grapes travelled from Brazil. This is a journey of 5,464 miles. Next are the red grapes. Their journey wasn't as long as all the other fruits as they came from Spain, travelling 787 miles. Similarly to the red grapes, the satsuma was imported from Spain and travelled the same distance. As you can see, my fruit salad has had a very long journey. The ingredients for my fruit salad travelled a total of 28,698 miles just to get to the UK. That's not just half the way around the world. It's not even three quarters of the way around the world. In fact, it's a whole way around the world and a little bit more. I decided to investigate the journey of the apple in more detail. My apple was grown and picked in Cape Town, South Africa. It was driven by a lorry to a packing plant in Johannesburg, which is a total of 868 miles. In the packing plant, my apple was sorted and washed. It was then packed ready for the next leg of its journey. It is then loaded onto a plane and flown from Johannesburg to London, England, which is a journey of 5,608 miles. Once it lands in London, my apple is transported by train to a fruit sorting depot in Birmingham, 94 miles away. It is loaded into lorries ready to be driven to the supermarkets. The forklift trucks loading my apple also contribute to its food miles. Next, it makes its way by lorry to Waitrose in High Wycombe, which is 108 miles along the motorway.
We drive to Waitrose, park the car and buy the apple. This is a trip of five miles. We then take the apple to my house in Nap Hill, which again is five miles. Finally, the apple comes to the Misborn, where I turn it into a fruit salad in food tech. This is a journey of four miles. My apple has been from Cape Town to Johannesburg, Johannesburg to London, London to Birmingham, Birmingham to High Wycombe, High Wycombe to Nap Hill, and Nap Hill to the Misborn. This is a total of 6,692 miles. However, if I had done this project sooner, I could have told my parents to check the label and buy these British apples.